Baker and Baker Salts started out with one simple mission and that was to really expand the range of salts on the market to add level of enjoyment and a level of fun to the meals. What I had done is I had looked around and I had seen milk had evolved over a number of years. You've now got coconut milk, almond milk, you've got your low fats, uh, mid-range, there's a whole lot of milks coming into the market, your A2s. And then I looked at bread, and bread has evolved a lot over the years. You've now got bread chains, Brumbies and Baker's Delight. You've got all sorts of breads coming into the market. Yet the staple product of salt really hadn't evolved, it hadn't changed. And I thought to myself, why? What's going on here? Why isn't this product changing and bringing more fun and enjoyment to people, being healthier? There's no need to have a highly processed salt if you don't have to. So I thought to myself, this industry is ideal for someone to come in and provide alternatives, proper alternatives. And that's where we engaged with chefs and nutritionists at the start to really get the types of salts that we believed the industry would accept and enjoy. And this is what born out of our business was that we've now got a range of salts that caters to everyone. We've got We've got floral salts for those that like fresh, natural herb flavors. Uh, you can have those fresh herbs coming through on a lot of your meals. We've got salts that are smoked, those that like smokiness across their food. You know, these are salts that are use natural wood and comes across natural smokiness in your food. We've got a lot of chili salts. We've got a red habanero, which up until 2007 was the hottest chili on earth. So we've really got salts that cater to those that want heat. We've got wine salts, those that when the salt dissolves, it adds a red wine jus or a wine jus to your meats. You know, these are salts that provide some level of enjoyment, an element of fun, a topic of conversation. You know, these are products that you can use. And most importantly, we're all meant to have salt. Like every product, not in excess, but we, do, we are meant to have salt. The body needs salt. So, Let's enjoy the product and incorporate it as part of our enjoyment. Uh, the range of salts that we're producing, and we're constantly looking at new flavors and profiles and aromas. We've got seaweed salt. Now, these are salts that, up until recently, you would think to yourself, why hasn't someone done this? Now, there are certain versions of salts that have come and gone across the years, but there hasn't been, in my mind, a company that's been dedicated to producing the types of flavor profiles, you know, the, the types of dimensions that the palate likes, you know, the aromas that take you on that journey to the countryside, if you want to go on the seaside, uh, if you want some type of heat, it can take you to where you want to go to a point where you remember having hot food, perhaps a bowl of chili. You know, these, are, these are products that you can complement and augment with any type of food and take you on that little journey. So the business, yes, it does sell salt, and we do do peppers as well, but there is a lot that we put into the background that we want to take the consumer on the journey. For more information, go to bakersalts.com.au. Food's all about passion. It's about enjoying something differently. Why don't you put some Baker and Baker salts into your food next time and explore the possibilities that you can use with our products? Now, this is a time where we're at a point where let's be creative, let's enjoy what we're doing. Let's bring back those flavors that we remember from yesteryear, those flavors that we want to bring back and enjoy, enhance, you know, get those rich flavors back again. If your tomato is not ripe enough, ripen it. Put some salt on it and bring back those flavors. That's what we're there to do. So enjoy it. Go to our website. Have a look at what we've got. Play around. Experiment. www.bakersalts.com.au For more information, go to bakersalts.com.au
Sometimes it's about the journey and what we're wanting to do at Baker and Baker Salts is take you on that journey. We source salts from around the world that we believe are the best quality salts. We've got salts from the Murray Darling. We've got Himalayan salt coming in from overseas. We've got Australian rock salts. You know, we've got some of the highest quality salts that we're wanting to introduce people to. What these salts do is that they take you on that journey. We're taking wood and we're burning that wood, real wood, that comes from real trees. And we're augmenting that with our salts. We're taking you on journeys into different cultures. We're taking you products and ingredients that are coming from overseas, those different cultures that are experiencing them. We're taking you back to the seaside. We've got those seaweed salts. We're taking you on any journey that you want to go and experience those different cultures and what they are. So yes, come on that journey with us and try the different flavors. You know, you'll, be, you'll be surprised and you'll be amazed at times and you'll think, how do these guys produce these types of flavors and aromas? It's not how we produce it. We're packaging up and giving it to you the way they're intended to be so that you can try it really the way that salt is meant to be. Uh, there's no need forever to have those highly processed salts again. Bring back those natural minerals back into your diet, the minerals that the body needs, and take it from the different cultures and on that journey with us. For more information, go to bakersalts.com.au. If you want to experience and retail proper salt and use these salts in your food, for more information, go to bakersalts.com.au. At Baker and Baker Salts, we wholesale salt. We supply bulk salt. We can supply restaurants, retailers, with any salt you require for any flavor you're looking for. Our salts are not only synonymous with quality and flavor, but we can present the salts to you in a wholesale range that you can package under your own brand name. These are premium quality salts that provide businesses with good margins, good profit margins in their products, and most importantly, they have a long shelf life, which means when you're buying the salts, you don't have to throw them away until you sell them. There's not many products on the market that allow a product to remain on the shelf until it's sold. And what you're buying when you're buying Baker & Baker salts is a product that has a long shelf life, a good margin, and flavors and aromas that consumers are looking for now. For more information, go to bakersalts.com.au. Baker and Baker Salts have repeat customers. Over the years as we supply businesses with our products, those customers have come back to the stores to purchase the products again. Not only do we supply the different types of salts and flavors, we have different types of grinders, tubs and bags. And what this means is that we can provide a combination of up to 300 different types of salts and packaging 
for, to meet any type of retailer. We have deluxe grinders with ceramic cores, have premium quality salts that consumers that are discerning for tastes and quality will come back and purchase. We have disposable salts that, are per that a customer will purchase on the go in a disposable grinder, use it, and then purchase the salts again. They're coming back to your store or your restaurant to try our salts again. And what this does is it separates you from your competitors. It's showing them that you believe in quality, you believe in product, you believe in the taste. So come on, try our salts. You can rebrand them under your own name. For more information, go to bakersalts.com.au. Baker & Baker Salts produces its products according to local council regulations and the Australia food standards. With it, when you're purchasing our products, you can be assured that our products meet the requirements that are required of them and that they're coming to you in a form that you can be assured are uncontaminated. Our salts are on the market to serve a purpose and that's to provide the consumers, the ultimate end consumer, with a high quality, high premium product. We have company information on all of our products and when you're purchasing our products, uh, you can be rest assured that only the highest quality standards have been going in to produce the product. For more information, go to bakersalts.com.au. Baker & Baker Salts produces its product factory in Melbourne and from that factory we can ship to anywhere in Australia or around the world. We have all the required equipment, technology and people knowledge to produce the salts that our consumers are demanding. So when you're buying a product from Baker & Baker Salts, these are products that are, that are produced in Australia. For more information, go to bakersalts com.au Baker & Baker Salts also imports grinders. Should you require grinders for a cafe, restaurant, or any type of event, contact us at bakersalts.com.au. Are you the type of business that requires refills? Sometimes a consumer will buy the salts and they've got the grinder, so they don't need the grinder anymore. Baker & Baker Salts provide refill bags, one kilo, five kilo, even 15 kilos. Should you require refill salts for your business, contact us, we provide these also. bakersalts.com.au Hola
One of the common questions we're asked at Baker and Baker Salts is, how do you store salts? Is there a useful shelf life? Do I need to throw them out? The answer depends on the type of salt that you're buying. Salt in itself can last for years and years and years. In fact, it, it is mined from salt mines. So it has already been in its current natural form for hundreds and thousands of years. When we add other ingredients to the salts, this is when we need to understand what those ingredients are. One of the salts that we've been working on is a bacon salt, using real bacon of course, nothing synthetic. Now bacon in itself has a fat content, so the shelf life of a bacon salt will be less than the shelf life of a natural salt, because the bacon component itself will break down quicker, or the fat within the bacon may go rancid. Conversely, the bacon salt may also need to be stored in the refrigerator for freshness. When you compare that to a chili salt, which uses dried chili flakes, that has a shelf life a lot longer than a bacon salt. By understanding the ingredients that are in the salts, you can then understand how to keep those salts. Also, in addition, a lot of the smoked salts need to be kept in airtight containers or grinders because once exposed to air, whilst they're still perfectly fine to eat and enjoy, they may lose their aroma. And so, with certain types of salts, there are certain ways to keep them. But the, the rule of thumb is simple. Keep the salts as airtight as possible and keep the salts in a cool place. That way you can be sure, without a question, that they're going to have the maximum level of freshness and flavour. Baker and Baker Salts Himalayan Shiraz. I would naturally say this would have a shelf life of between 12 to 18 months. When you purchase the product, you're purchasing real bottled wine that has been reduced and coated and then air dried. So naturally you will have wine within the salt. Kept in a cool place, this product can last for months and even years. However, we do recommend that this product is consumed within 12 to 18 months. Start your conversation with how you have your salt. Shake it, grind it, crush it, pinch it, throw it. There are so many different ways you can have your salts and there are so many different reasons why salts come in those forms. So let's take the salt flakes for example. Salt flakes, because they're naturally thin and they have a wider surface area, they have a sharper flavour. So you may like to pinch those on your food.
chefs use baker and baker salts for the quality and to manage the level of saltiness in their foods. They recognise, for example, that the salt flakes have a different flavour profile than the ground flakes. Now, when you're purchasing a salt, a, a salt that comes in a grinder will almost inevitably be a rock salt because the only way to grind a rock salt is through a grinder. When you're purchasing a shaker, the salt has already been ground and it's more than likely in a, in a powder form or a fine form and that will allow you to shake the salt over your food. When you're purchasing salt flakes, these are very light, very airy salts that allow you to actually pick them up with your hand and put them across your food. This allows you to have some level of control and interaction with the salt. And it's the salt that a lot of the chefs prefer to use because it has a higher level of sharpness and a far more pleasurable flavour and sensation when you're, when you're eating that salt. So there is a reason that people were purchasing salt flakes versus rock salts or fine salts. Applying baker and baker salts before cooking or after cooking. That's another question we get asked. But let me tell you, it does depend on the type of person you are. If you're doing a casserole, you're doing a stew, you're doing something that requires liquid, by all means, there's nothing wrong with shaking salt into that. It will remain within the food, it will give you that flavour that you're looking for. If you're having meats, um, you're having, for example, a steak, uh, salt is best put on afterwards. You can see the salt, you can see the level of uh, flavour that's going to go into the meat and you can enjoy it far better. So it does depend on the type of food that you're using and what your intended purpose is. Um, but by all means, experience and, and try around with the different types of flavours that we have. A lot of people ask us at Baker and Baker Salts, how do we use the salt and when do we use the salt in the cooking process? The answer really is that it's dependent on you. How you want to use the salt is up to you. If you take, for example, a stew or a casserole, it's probably best to put the salt in during the cooking process so it can infuse through the cooking and the food itself. But personally, when I'm having a steak on the barbecue, I only put the salt on after afterwards. The reason being is that I can manage the level of salt that I'm putting on the meat, and I know exactly how much salt I need for the best flavour. And that's really what the experience is about. When you're having the meat, in my personal case, when I put the salt on afterwards, I know exactly the salt's there, and I'm going to enjoy it. The amount of salt is a personal choice. <laughs>